Hi, I'm Michael Friedman, founder and president of Master Massage. I want to warn you or apologize to you or something because when I reviewed the video you're about to see, it was clear that I got a little too excited perhaps in describing our passion for perfection and some of the frustrations we face dealing in this thumbnail photo world we all live in today. You just can't see all of the good or all of the bad in these very tiny little shots. So my attempt here in these following minutes is just to honestly communicate with you quietly, person to person, some of the details that make our product great and how they compare to some of the other things that are actually out there. So if it seems that I'm getting a little too excited, please forgive me. It's just the passion for honesty and perfection coming out. Thank you. This table is very unique. There's really nothing like it on the market. It's made for the person who wants a wide, ridiculously strong table who has a lot of larger bariatric clients. It's made out of this uh, ash wood. The legs are very big. The frame is also very big. The, the wooden bed under the foam, that's three times as thick as a normal bed. Point is, it's wide, it's very comfortable, it has a full inch of memory foam in it. When you get on this table, you feel like you're really in heaven or very next to it. God forbid you should be in heaven. This is the strongest portable table, if you will, that you could buy. It is. Uh, it's pretty. It comes with our uh, pretty famous now Italia upholstery. This stuff is gorgeous. Looks like an Italian leather purse. You can't scratch it. It's durable as all get out. It comes with this very nice matching bolster. It comes with some face pillow covers. There's 75 in the, in the package, and uh, you can buy more, of course. It comes with this terrific music video. You're going to relax so much from this that you'll hardly be able to work. Of course, it has our, our, our uh, what we call the ergonomic dream uh, adjustable face uh, pillow. The arm shelf is, is, uh, is constructed and fixed like on uh, many stationary tables. And lastly, it comes with a four-pocket carrying case. To wrap it all up, this is the strongest table you can buy. I guarantee you, we rank it at 3,000 pounds, but really, there's no limit to the strength of this table. You clicked on the button, why a master? I'm gonna show you now the difference. Some of the things that you can't see in the uh, thumbnails that you're shopping with, but that are so vitally important to the, to the safety, to the long life, uh, and, and the good investment of the table you're about to purchase someplace. Uh, for instance, let's talk about the upholstery. Upholstery, there's a tremendous amount of science and chemistry going on in the upholstery. If the upholstery is, is, is really cheap, then it emits, it emits toxic fumes, which are, are just terrible for your health, going to give you cancer. It can create birth defects in children. It's totally illegal in certain states and in Europe. Uh, it, it's just bad. Additionally, cheap upholstery can uh, be of the type that reacts negatively with oil, whether it's vegetable oil, like massage oil, or even mineral oil. Oil has molecules in it that can destroy the upholstery fabric. Pretty soon it'll get cracky, it'll get hard, it'll just literally disintegrate if it's the cheap stuff. The good stuff, it doesn't stay stable for, for years and years and years. That's what you want, that's what you expect, but you don't always get it. Uh, additionally, in the back of the upholstery is a backing. There's got to be a backing. Look at this. This is strong. This is str it's like a pair of Levi's that's laminated to the back of the upholstery. It helps keep the upholstery from from puncturing, from tearing. It helps keep it looking new. Uh, you know, years after you've bought the table, the upholstery is really important. And here, something you surely can't see. This is important, and ours is the strongest. If you would trying to say what's the heart of your table, you might say it's the hinge, the hinge that holds it together here in the middle. All the weight is going down, and when the weight is going down, this is our hinge, by the way, when the weight is going down, like this pressing down, if it's a lot of weight, you know, our, our hinge just kind of, the more weight it got, the tighter it gets. It just grabs, and we got screws coming in this way and screws coming in this way. Literally, the hinge of our table, the center of the table, is the strongest part of our table. But in other situations, it just, uh, it's the weakest part of the table. Look at this. If you take a micrometer, 
trust me, I've done this already. This steel is more than twice as thick as this steel. And by the way, size, you know, what, do you want this or do you want this to be in your table? Here's another thing that you can't tell when you're looking on the thumbnail of the website. I mean, it drives me crazy, but watch. Here's two knobs. This knob has a threaded insert. This is the business end of the knob. It's like a piece of aluminum foil in there with a couple of twists. I mean, this is going to strip, it's going to fall out, it's going to break, you know, and soon after you have the table, you know, essentially, if you don't have these knobs to hold your legs on, you know, you don't have a table. Here's an MHP knob. It comes in a couple different colors, but wait. Look at this felt pad, first of all. This felt pad, which we're the only ones who do this, this, when you tighten the knob, it keeps it from scratching the wood. I'm going to take off this felt pad and show you some more about the way this is made. I mean, this is not rehearsed, you know, doing as good as I can here. Please be patient. The point is, is that underneath this felt pad is a very thick piece of brass. It's not just thick, but it's deep. The threads are deep. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is never going to break. And this brass uh, threaded um, uh, sleeve is not merely pressed into the, to the part. It's over molded. It's part of the mold. And the machine that makes the whole thing, it's part of it. So we have the, the brass knob that's proper. It's expensive. And it, we have this over molded with very, very strong plastic resin. You know, there's thousands of different kinds of plastic. Some could be brittle, you know, et cetera. This is really hard, really strong. It will never break. And then over that, we have some really nice soft touch stuff molded over it. So it just kind of feels good. And you just kind of feel good every time you have to adjust your table because it's just nice stuff. Many companies, though, who will say Recce Panel, I don't want to show the name of this company. Many companies that will say Recce Panel, they're making it out of one thickness of wood. Is this showing up on the camera? Can yeah. you see this? You don't, don't edit that out. I mean, I'm really. Can you see this? I mean, really, on a Recce Panel, do you want the thin one or did you want the thick one? We only make it one way. We only do it the right way. Um, Got to be careful. And you can't see it in a thumbnail. See this nice little uh, dense piece of rubber? Uh, this is something that nobody else, it's, it's rough, I tore it off a table. This is something that we put at the corner of the table, under the upholstery. You can't see it, but tell me, but I'll tell you, we are the only ones who do that. We put it under the, under the upholstery here in the corner because when you're handling the table, naturally you're bouncing it on the floor, you're dragging it, hitting it, you know, you're going back and forth. And so the upholstery often at the corners is a wear point. But in order to reduce that wear, we began years ago installing this piece of, of plastic at all four corners so that we uh, uh, increase the, uh, the beautiful life of your massage table. So here's a situation that you just can't see in a thumbnail. And what I'm going to show you now is against the law, actually, in the United States of America. Um, this foam, here's foam that is uh, by law should be not able to burn, okay? It's a law. You don't know what they're putting in the box. This is from, there's several brands of tables out there in the market, you see them online, and it burns, watch this. Go. Can you see this? This is just not legal. You don't want this. I'm going to put this. You can't even put it out. Okay. Here is foam from. This is this is legal foam. This will melt a little bit. It's going to smell, but it, it won't stay, burn, or or even get more burny. Come on. Doesn't smell great. But this is what the law says you should have. Melting foam, not burning foam. I want to go back to talking about uh, hinges again and hardware. In fact, all metal parts that are in 
uh, arm, uh, a massage table, any massage table. You've got various metal parts like hinges and you've got screws. Um, there's a lot of bad things that could be hiding there or a lot of good things. So it's not just a matter of, of size and strength. It's uh, one, one item is a matter of how you go about plating these things. This is, is brightly plated, not necessarily for beauty, but if you don't plate this properly, then it's going to rust, it's going to corrode. And you know, when things like that happen, I mean, it's ugly, it's going to get on your fingers, but also it's going to weaken and it's going to break under stress. And tell me, there's a lot of stress on a massage table. Um, to properly do this job, to plate screws and to plate metal parts like a hinge, you've got to clean it properly after it's formed. You know, there's a lot of oil going around in those machines, you know. Uh, and then, so you've got to clean it, then you've got to plate it, and you've got to plate it again. These are double plated, and they're cleaned properly before plating, because if you don't do that, then everything just comes off and goes to pot. So when you look at something, there's more to it. And you don't want to buy something that's going to that it's going to be all rusty and junky and corroded and weak before you know it. Literally, coming overseas uh, in, in those salt water conditions, sometimes if it's really bad, uh, really not done right, it'll be rusty by the time it gets here, perhaps one month after it's made. That's the truth. I referred in my introductory uh, remarks uh, to the tests that we pass. Here's, here's some of them that we passed in the last year. Here's one. The test itself could, could make you sick. I mean, it's like 50, where's the page number? There's, there, there's over 60 pages here in this test. Te you know, just checking every little thing from the finish, from the humidity of the wood. I've got a humidity detector over there in my desk. Uh, it, it's just, you know, it, it's a high standard that we're, caught, that we're forced to meet. And we, we, uh, it, it was a real learning curve, but we're the only ones that have done that. And here is some of the stuff we have to go through. And if some little thing is wrong, we've got to do it again, period. So here's, here's another thing that I, I don't know what to do about some of the stuff, to tell you the truth. But if a, if a guy, uh, if a maker in his material, in his thumbnail details that you're reading online says two inches of foam, what would you expect? Would you expect two inches of foam? This one... I'm not mentioning the name. It says two inches of foam in the material. I have the material right inside here. But if you go to measure it, it's really you know, it's like, a, like a millimeter over, over one and a half inches. It's not two inches. It's nowhere near two inches. It's a lie, period. And, and we don't do that. Something else, if you want to focus on this again, it's another brand of table, but you've got that butt joint. There's no... No, no dovetail, no strength, no furniture kind of construction there. And uh, maybe you can see it. You have no screws going into anything substantial. You've got these little brads. Maybe there's some glue in there. But this kind of construction, the butt joint held together by a few, basically they're straight staples. They're not even nails. A nail would be a blessing in this case. But these are just what they call spot nails in the, in the industry. And it's a, it's a pretty crummy kind of construction. So here's something else I'd like to talk about that you just take for granted. Everything should be right. You see these handles here? The handles. You're picking it up. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of stress put on the handles. And you can see there's a washer and there's some kind of screw or bolt or whatever, right? Looks OK. By the way, this is an MH. Uh, this is a master massage table. This is our table. So can you see in here? Can the camera get in here? This metal part, it's called a T-nut. It's not rocket science. T-nuts have been around forever. But the point is, it's a metal fastener so that when you screw in the handle for the, the screw for the handle, it goes into a steel connection and never breaks, never comes out. It's not just a wood screw that they pop into, into the wood there. That would be bad. Here on this table, the handle looks similar. You've got a, kind of some kind of screw. This looks kind of cheap, but, but it's a screw. If you feel here, I don't have a knife to cut this open with, but I'm feeling as hard as I can. There is no metal fastener here. This is just a wood screw going into wood, and it's going to tear out. Pretty soon you got one handle on your table, or maybe no handles on your table, because there's no metal to metal fastener. It's a detail you can't see in the, in the uh, thumbnail, but it's there, and it's the difference between a table that's going to last you and be safe and convenient to use, or not. Here's a face pillow. 
the main thing I want to talk about on this face pillow at this moment is that our, our major customers, the ones I referred to before who make me take all these tests and everything, they insist that we put every face pillow through a metal detector and, a, and an x-ray machine to be sure that there's no sewing needles, sewing machine needles, or broken parts of needles that got lost kind of in the foam or in the upholstery and that the needles are safe. Um, it doesn't happen too often. I guess statistically in history it can happen. I don't remember if it even ever happened. But they make us do it, and uh, I don't think anybody else goes through that kind of testing. Uh, these two tables are called uh, what I call lift back tables. Uh, they're important. Many people really require these. But my point is this. Here's our table. It's as it should be. Here's another table that looked kind of similar online, but God forbid if somebody over that gets on this table and pushes back, and if they weigh over like 90 pounds, you know, it's going to break. But this is a very popular selling item. But in, an, in a thumbnail online, they all look the same, and all you can see is basically the color or the price. Uh, ours is priced pretty good about the same as other stools, but typical of, of master products, you get more. And maybe it's going to cost a dollar more, but don't worry about it because here is a, another popular selling stool. It's, you can see, smaller. It's, it's also thinner, but, but wait, there's more. Turn it over. You see this base on the stool of the more cheaply made unit compared to the base that we use? I mean, you're sitting on this stool rocking back and forth all the time. Something that just sort of tries to be a base is not going to be strong. It's possible that the wooden plate here on which everything rests is going to break sooner on this plate than break on this plate. This gives real, real support to the product. And this is, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's, it's a nod towards doing the right job. You can see here more how much more thicker ours is than this. But wait, the typical way to make this, uh, the foam is just glued onto a wooden plate here. Uh, after a while and all the use, the, the, the glue breaks loose and the, the whole thing begins to look like some high school shop project or maybe a grade school shop project. But our foam is molded right on to the wooden plate. You can't even feel the wooden plate. Hmm. Should I, should I cut it open? I'm trying to make a point here. The foam is molded onto our wooden plate. Can you see the wooden plate here? It's, it, it's, it's real expensive to do it this way, but boy, it lasts a long time. It, it always keeps its shape, and guess what? It's more comfortable, too. Pardon me, this is kind of unrehearsed, and it looks kind of ugly, but I'm trying to make a point. Here, here is another stool. Well, this material is easy to cut. So here, here's another stool that's more cheaply made. The foam, like I said, is glued on to the plate. By the way, there's, there's no vents like we have, which enables the, the thing to function better. Do you want to sit on, on this, you know, that covers even the wood? Or do you want to sit on this? This is, this is cheaper foam. What do you want? Do you want this nice thing that's really made nice and strong? Or do you want this? Do you want to sit on a base like this or a base like this? Lastly, I'm talking about wheels. Throw this away. This is a typical wheel you're going to find. You know, it's cheap, it's hard plastic, so forth and so on. Ours is good plastic, but wait, there's this nice soft stuff, which means you could use it on a, on a wooden or a tile floor, and it won't make noise, and it won't scrape or scratch anything. This is really the high-class wheel. Hard to see this all and appreciate it in a thumbnail. And you may have to spend a few dollars more for this. What, five, ten dollars even? But it's going to last you a long time. It's never going to break. And, and uh, it, it's what really provides a satisfactory ownership experience, and that's what we're all about. Thanks. Hi, everybody. This is um, really important, an, an important video. It has to do with your health and your safety of you, 
most of all you, the user of this table, and of course your clients. Um, I'm talking about warming pads. Uh, this one on top is it's kind of typical, you can see it. Uh, it has uh, corner straps. By the way, we have corner straps too, but ours are adjustable so you can snug it down real tight. Uh, this seems to have, this is, uh, it came back in our return goods because it died, and that's why it's all kind of dirty. It seems to be uh, NRG. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. Here is a, a brand new one. It seems to be from the same factory. You can see the controllers are the same, but this one has an Oakworks name on it, so they really didn't create it. Again, it's got straps, no adjustability, just put a different name on it, and out it goes. Here's, here's another one, typical of what these things are. No straps, but wait. Here's something really important. Here's ours. Yes, it's plush. We build all this extra padding in it. That's nice. Um, <clears throat> the most, and look at the electronics. It, there's nothing, nothing dinky about this. There's real healthy, good uh, printed circuit boards in here and thermostats to keep the heat flowing evenly all over the pad uh, properly and it won't blow out. We have adjustability on our straps, but most important, I want to talk about EMR, which stands for electromagnetic radiation. Go ahead and Google electromagnetic radiation and cancer, and you'll see that there's lots of research that points out or, or suggests that there may be some relationship between cancer, I mean EMR, electromagnetic ra radiation, also sometimes called ELF, electro low frequency or something, radiation, but you, some people think you can get cancer from that. I don't know if you can, but I don't want to find out the hard way. And if you if you want to, if you if you're with me, <laughs> then keep listening. Here's this this is a European uh, uh, a pan European ex discussion of this uh, possible effects of EMR. You know, you could die just reading that. But here's some some quickies from Google from the World Health Organization Global Healing Center. Here possible outcomes of prolonged exposure. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Therapist. Um, you could get tumors, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, damage to the intestinal mucus lining, and colon cancer from EMR. Hmm. We're interested in your safety. We do this. Come close on this. This is, this is the money part of it. This is the important part. Do you see the shielding we have on our warmer cables, the heating cables? Our heating cables themselves are thicker than the others because they have this extra layer, this winding of copper around it, which effecti effectively shields all the electromagnetic radiation. That's what it does. It costs more. We bring this in to our factory from Europe, and then we bring it to the US. So uh, if you're concerned just about having something really nice that's really practical that you won't, you won't get sick from, then there's only one choice. You have to buy the master. It may cost you a couple dollars more, but it's better than doctor bills. All right, I want to talk about face cradles for a second because it's a subject that may be the most important thing. You know, when you or your clients lay down, this is really kind of the business end of the table. This has a lot to do with the experience for the next half an hour because at least for half of the session, for you, if it's your table, or for your clients, which is maybe more important because it's your living, uh, the face cradle determines how comfortable and, and, and uh, relaxing the experience is because some are really awful. Uh, by the way, these things are thrown around a lot and they can break. Look at the thick one. Guess whose that is? That's ours. That's the master face cradle. We use good stuff. And, and this one is some really cheap piece of plywood that is half the thickness and half the plies. And it, it's no good. Meanwhile, here, by the way, this I'd call a conventionally shaped pillow, sort of like a horseshoe. This is what's been done forever. Uh, this is ours. It's not a lot different than this, really, except that it has these little vents which make the pillow conform, make it more easy to conform. That's a nice thing. But the thing I like the most, and my point, is to talk about our ergonomic dream face cradle. Look at this. 
it's face formed, so what do you think is going to be ultimately more comfortable for, for 30 or 40 minutes? Something that conforms to the shape of your head. But the pillow, the ergonomic dream face pillow, I mean, it's kind of dorky looking and nerdy looking, but really, this has been designed in a, in a composite way to fit everybody's natural skull shape from, from Los Angeles to Moscow, from Scandinavia to Indonesia. We, we were able to determine all of the natural ethnic skull shapes and form the pillow so that gives us a lot of support on the forehead. It avoids our occipital orbs, you know, the, the eyeball area gives us, holds us up right here on the jaw. And wait, there's more. Ours has this beautiful layer of memory foam, and there's really a difference you can feel when you lay on it. This stuff is not cheap, by the way. But the point is, when you spend maybe a couple more dollars for a master massage table, you're going to get more, and you're going to get more out of it going to last you. It won't break. It's going to feel comfortable. You're going to make more money. You're going to love it. Hi. I want to talk to you about the importance of plastic. Uh, this face cradle is not ours. It's supposed to have two arms, but one broke off. And the idea is that when you make things out of plastic, you can't tell by looking at it whether the plastic material, the raw material, was good or whether the, uh, the plastic molder cheated by adding reground material from anything, any scrap, literally, they sweep the floor, they throw the scraps or the bad stuff into a chopper, chops it all up, they put it back into, into the machine on top, add a little bit more black dye, and, and you can get reused stuff, but it has no strength. Once it's been through that heating and cooling process, its, uh, it's molecular structure has changed. It's got no strength. Uh, another thing that affects plastic is the, is the cycle time of the machine. The machine goes in and out making these parts. And if you do it too fast uh, or you cool it too slow, it gets heat and pressure and cooling, then you get what you see here, bubbles, and, and altogether it breaks. So here on, on our face cradles, we have you know, nice, nice arms. I mean, they're made strong. They're not, gonna, they're not going to break. You have metal arms to begin with, and um, yet, I'm not, I hate to name names, but it's right here. It says, this is made by Strong Light. Maybe they should call it Weak Light or Cheap Light. Pardon me, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. It was too easy. Uh, at Master, we know about plastic, and we know the proper way to mold stuff. And you know what? We wouldn't let this happen. It just doesn't happen to our stuff. Hi, I'm Michael Friedman president of Master Massage Tables, and I want to tell you about this table, the Champion, the table you're looking at. Um, the Champion is meant to be a bestseller, and it is. Why? Well, first of all, the size is the most popular size today. It's 30 inches wide. The length is, if there is such a thing as regulation and massage, it's regulation. 72 inches long on the bed itself, plus when you put the face cradle on, you know, the end, it gives another foot. So it's really large enough for a seven foot person. The, uh, the upholstery is what they call CFC free. In, in other words, chemically, um, it won't degrade uh, with oil, when it gets near oils. It won't give off toxic fumes. It's, it's safe, it's as environmentally friendly as, as upholstery can be. Uh, more importantly, we put this very heavy backing on it. It's like a pair of Levi's laminated to the back of the upholstery because it'll last longer. It feels better, too, but mostly so it'll last longer and not, not wear out and look bad like so many other tables do that don't have this beautiful backing on it. We have uh, most tables in this price range we have a, a hinge that looks like this, kind of, kind of inadequate. Our hinge is like this. It's not only strong and the steel is triple the strength of this stuff, but it's made so that the way, the way it works, and when you get the table, you'll see, or you can look at the sample, when the weight goes in, the, table, the, 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 the hinge pinches in on itself, and it makes the table even stronger. So you could uh, have a party and jump up and down on this thing, and nothing bad is going to happen. The knobs on the table, here's a typical knob from, you know, some cheap guys. The, uh, the, the sleeve, the insert here, it's, it's like aluminum foil with some twists in it. It's very, very weak. I don't know if you can see it on camera, and, or it doesn't look good here, 
but our, our brass sleeve is very, very thick and it's very, very deep and the threads are very deep and it'll last forever. Why it looks kind of messy here is because we, first of all, we, over, we, we mold the, the sleeve right into the plastic part. We don't just stick it in. We mold it in and then we mold over this very soft, kind of sexy feeling plastic and then we put over a felt pad, which I tried to rip off so I could show you. There's a felt pad we put on so that when you tighten it against your legs, it doesn't scratch the legs of the table. I, I couldn't get it all off because it's, it's on there pretty good. Uh, this, believe it or not, is very important. The foot, even the foot on the table, the foot on this table is made of a plastic that's, that's soft enough so that it won't slide across your floor in case you're going to have it on a hard floor. It also won't leave marks. And it has two screws, which is something that's not to be taken for granted. Some tables have just one screw, and it means when you do drag the table across carpeting or anything or a floor, the foot tends to pop off, and then you're left with a, you know, an uneven table or a screw head sticking out to scratch everything up. This is really important, how you make the foot. Uh, lastly, I think, just to show you the, the integrity and the strength that this is second to last. That's it. Look at the arm shelf that comes with some tables. If you see it online or in a picture, you can't tell that this is what you're supposed to get, and this comes with this table. But this is what some people pass off as, a, as, a, uh, as an arm shelf. Let's see. Should I get, pardon me for, I don't want to get violent or anything, but let's cut this open right here. This is unrehearsed. Let's see. Let's take a look at the thickness of this piece of wood. See it? It's pretty much like a soda cracker. It's going to break the first time you use it. Maybe the second time. Let's see what we got here. We have more foam. Oh, my God. And we have more wood. Look at that. I mean, this is what you're supposed to get. But this is what, if you're not careful, you will get. The last thing I want to say is the most important thing. I know, I know where you're standing. I know where you're shopping. I know what, what customers of ours take this table. That's maybe the most important thing, because they're very particular. They put this through all kinds of quality tests besides our own, all kinds of environmental standards besides our own. And where you're standing, looking at this table, it's, it's for sure you're going to get a good deal on it and that the table's going to be made right. Other people may be giving you this. This is what we have through and through this table. Thank you very much. Lastly, really lastly, I thought I would show you what, what does it mean, 30 inch wide? And here, of course, is the champion table. It's the most popular selling size that there is. And here is some miraculously cheap table we bought online. You know, it's the one where I cut open the, uh, the, um, the uh, armrest. But you can see how wide this is. It's uh, good, you know, for an extremely slender person, but this is good for, it's not good, it's great for an average American person. And that's, that's just it. This may be slender, and many people are slender, and I would like to be slender, but man, I don't think I could ever get to be this slender, not since I was about eight years old. And, um, and, uh, and size is not everything, as I showed you. It's the built-in quality of everything that's part of this table. Every piece of wood, every screw, everything. It's just made right. It's made really well like your mother would make it for you. Some therapists are interested in buying a table with recce panels. Uh, you know, sometimes people want to sit down at the head of the table or somewhere and they want some leg room under the table and so they, they want a table with a leg panel that gives them some leg room as opposed to the, to the uh, normal the conventional rectangular thing. The problem is when you set up the table, this leg panel is under a tremendous amount of torque. And if it's a weak, if it's a weak piece of wood, because maybe you didn't get the legs exactly straight or something like that, it's going to break. And if it breaks, the table falls down, your client falls down, it's going to hit you on the foot. It's a mess and somebody gets hurt. So the question is, what is the conscientious thing to do? What's the conscientious way to build the table with a recce panel? Take a look at this. You see the, the thin one? It represents almost every person making a recce panel, except for two who I won't name, okay? <laughs> Pardon me, except for three. The thick one 
in my hand is a master massage. This thing, this thing, won't, you can't bend it. I mean, it's really thick. It's 11 ply versus, uh, this is five ply. Yeah, I can break it probably, you know, and certainly you get a, uh, a client on the table. And if the table's not set up perfectly, or if they move around in a certain way, it's gonna break and the table's gonna fall down and then you gotta buy a new table and stuff like that. The question is, do you wanna buy a table with a properly made recce panel, double thickness, or do you wanna buy, save a few dollars, and buy this kind of a recce panel? The few dollars you may spend extra to buy a master table made like this could save you some real money and, hard, and heartache in the long run. Hi everybody, you're, you're shopping to make a decision that affects your career, it, it affects your success, and you're trying to tell what's the difference between one table you might be looking at or another. The details that give your clients uh, a Mercedes-like experience, and that's how you want your clients to feel. So the table is 31 inches wide. The table has three inches of foam, and there's memory foam in this table, so when you get on it, it's really comfortable. You, you sink in just the right amount. So as important as the bed and the face cradle, and of course we include a bolster too, is, is the frame and the legs. Our frame is very strong. This table will support a mountain of weight. We have this twin track profile on our legs, so there's no shake possible. See that little strip of white material? It keeps any possibility of the wood going against each other and squeaking. Our legs are longer, so you can, if you're a tall therapist, you can adjust it higher. And by the way, notice these numbers on our legs. That's an exclusive and enables you to adjust your table more simply. We've developed a quick set knob. Instead of taking about 12 turns to un unscrew and screw on each of the knobs, we take about two and a quarter turns to screw that knob on totally tight. There are two knobs per leg. Two knobs, there's no possibility of that leg pivoting and caving in. This is, in the details and every other way, the best you can get. This table is very unique. There's really nothing like it on the market. It's made for the person who wants a wide, ridiculously strong table, who has a lot of larger bariatric clients. It's made out of this uh, ash wood, the legs are very big. The frame is also very big. The, the wooden bed under the foam, that's three times as thick as a normal bed. Point is, it's wide, it's very comfortable, it has a full inch of memory foam in it. When you get on this table, you feel like you're really in heaven or very next to it. God forbid you should be in heaven. This is the strongest portable table, if you will, that you could buy. It is. Uh, it's pretty. It comes with our uh, pretty famous now Italia upholstery. This stuff is gorgeous. Looks like an Italian leather purse. You can't scratch it. It's durable as all get out. It comes with this very nice matching bolster. It comes with some face pillow covers. There's 75 in the, in the package and uh, you can buy more, of course. It comes with this terrific music video. You're gonna relax so much from this that you'll hardly be able to work. Of course, it has our, our, our uh, what we call the ergonomic dream uh, adjustable face uh, pillow. The arm shelf is, is, uh, is constructed and fixed like on uh, many stationary tables. And lastly, it comes with a four pocket carrying case. To wrap it all up, this is the strongest table you can buy. I guarantee you, we rank it at 3,000 pounds, but really, <laughs> There's no limit to the strength of this table. Very popular selling item, but in, an, in a thumbnail online, they all look the same, and all you can see is basically the color or the price. Uh, ours is priced pretty good, about the same as other stools, but typical of, of master products, you get more. And maybe it's gonna cost a dollar more, but don't worry about it, because here is a, another popular selling stool. It's, you can see, smaller. It's, it's also thinner, but, but wait, there's more. Turn it over. You see this base on the stool of the more cheaply made unit compared to the base that we use? I mean, you're sitting on this stool rocking back and forth all the time. Something that just sort of tries to be a base is not gonna be strong. It's possible that the wooden plate here on which everything rests is gonna break sooner on this plate than break on this plate. This gives real, real support to the product and this is, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's, it's a nod towards doing the right job. 
you can see here more how much more thicker ours is than this. But wait, the typical way to make this, uh, the foam is just glued onto a wooden plate here. Uh, after a while, in all the use, the, the, the glue breaks loose and the, the whole thing begins to look like some high school shop project or maybe a grade school shop project. But our foam is molded right on to the wooden plate. You can't even feel the wooden plate. Hmm. Should I, should I cut it open? Trying to make a point here. The foam is molded onto our wooden plate. Can you see the wooden plate here? It's, it, it's, it's real expensive to do it this way, but boy, it lasts a long time. It, it always keeps its shape. And guess what? It's more comfortable too. Pardon me, this is kind of unrehearsed and it looks kind of ugly, but I'm trying to make a point. Here, here is another stool. Well, this material is easy to cut. So here, here's another stool that's more cheaply made. The foam, like I said, is glued on to the plate. By the way, there's, there's no vents like we have, which enables the, the thing to function better. Do you want to sit on, on this, you know, that covers even the wood? Or do you want to sit on this? This is, this is cheaper foam. What do you want? Do you want this nice thing that's really made nice and strong? Or do you want this? Do you want to sit on a base like this or a base like this? Lastly, I'm talking about wheels. Throw this away. This is a typical wheel you're going to find. You know, it's cheap, it's hard plastic, so forth and so on. Ours is good plastic, but wait, there's this nice soft stuff, which means you could use it on a, on a wooden or a tile floor, and it won't make noise, and it won't scrape or scratch anything. This is really the high-class wheel. Hard to see this all and appreciate it in a thumbnail. And you may have to spend a few dollars more for this. What, five, ten dollars even? But it's going to last you a long time. It's never going to break. And, and uh, it, it's what really provides a satisfactory ownership experience. And that's what we're all about. Thanks. Hi, everybody. This is um, really important, an, an important video. It has to do with your health and your safety of you. Most of all, you, the user of this table, and of course, your clients. Um, I'm talking about warming pads. Uh, this one on top is, is kind of typical. You can see it. Uh, it has uh, corner straps. By the way, we have corner straps too, but ours are adjustable, so you can snug it down real tight. Uh, this seems to have, this is, uh, it came back in our return goods because it died, and that's why it's all kind of dirty. It seems to be uh, NRG. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. Here is a, a brand new one. It seems to be from the same factory. You can see the controllers are the same, but this one has an Oakworks name on it, so they really didn't create it. Again, it's got straps, no adjustability, just put a different name on it, and out it goes. Here's, here's another one, typical of what these things are. No straps, but wait. Here's something really important. Here's ours. Yes, it's plush. We build all this extra padding in it. That's nice. Um, <clears throat> the most, and look at the electronics. It, they're nothing, nothing dinky about this. There's real healthy, good uh, printed circuit boards in here and thermostats to keep the heat flowing evenly all over the pad uh, properly and it won't blow out. We have adjustability on our straps. But most important, I want to talk about EMR, which stands for electromagnetic radiation. Go ahead and Google electromagnetic radiation and cancer, and you'll see that there's lots of research that points out or, or suggests that there may be some relationship between cancer, I mean EMR, electromagnetic ra radiation, also sometimes called ELF, electro low frequency or something, radiation. But you, some people think you can get cancer from that. I don't know if you can, but I don't want to find out the hard way. And if you, if you want, to, if you, if you're with me, <laughs> then keep listening. Here's this. This is a European, uh, uh, a pan-European discussion of this. 
a possible effects of EMR. You know, you could die just reading that. But here's some, some quickies from Google from the World Health Organization, Global Healing Center. Here, possible outcomes of prolonged exposure. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Therapist. Um, you could get tumors, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, damage to the intestinal mucus lining, and colon cancer from EMR. Hmm. We're interested in your safety. We do this. Come close on this. This is, this is the money part of it. This is the important part. You see the shielding we have on our warmer cables, the heating cables? Our heating cables themselves are thicker than the others because they have this extra layer, this winding of copper around it, which effective, effectively shields all the electromagnetic radiation. That's what it does. It costs more. We bring this in to our factory from Europe, and then we bring it to the U.S. So uh, if you're concerned just about having something really nice that's really practical, that you won't, you won't get sick from, then there's only one choice. You have to buy the master. It may cost you a couple dollars more, but it's better than doctor bills. All right, I want to talk about face cradles for a second because it's a subject that may be the most important thing. You know, when you or your clients lay down, this is really kind of the business end of the table. This has a lot to do with the experience for the next half an hour because at least for half of the session, for you, if it's your table, or for your clients, which is maybe more important because it's your living, uh, the face cradle determines how comfortable and, and, and uh, relaxing the experience is because some are really awful. Uh, by the way, these things are thrown around a lot and they can break. Look at the thick one. Guess whose that is? That's ours. That's the master face cradle. We use good stuff. And, and this one is some really cheap piece of plywood that is half the thickness and half the plies. And it, it's no good. Meanwhile, here, by the way, this I'd call a conventionally shaped pillow, sort of like a horseshoe. This is what's been done forever. Uh, this is ours. It's not a lot different than this, really, except that it has these little vents, which make the pillow conform, make it more easy to conform. That's a nice thing. But the thing I like the most, and my point, is to talk about our ergonomic dream face cradle. Look at this. It's face formed, so what do you think is gonna be ultimately more comfortable for, for 30 or 40 minutes? Something that conforms to the shape of your head. But the pillow, the ergonomic dream face pillow, I mean, it's kind of dorky looking and nerdy looking, but really, this has been designed in a, in a composite way to fit everybody's natural skull shape from, from Los Angeles to Moscow, from Scandinavia to Indonesia. We, we were able to determine all of the natural ethnic skull shapes and form the pillow so that gives us a lot of support on the forehead. It avoids our occipital orbs, you know, the, the eyeball area gives us, holds us up right here on the jaw. And wait, there's more. Ours has this beautiful layer of memory foam, and there's really a difference you can feel when you lay on it. This stuff is not cheap, by the way. But the point is, when you spend maybe a couple more dollars for a master massage table, you're gonna get more, and you're gonna get more out of it. It's gonna last you, it won't break, it's gonna feel comfortable, you're gonna make more money, you're gonna love it. Hi, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of plastic. Uh, this face cradle is not ours. It's supposed to have two arms, but one broke off. And the idea is that when you make things out of plastic, you can't tell by looking at it whether the plastic material, the raw material was good or whether the, uh, the plastic molder cheated by adding reground material from anything, any scrap, literally, they sweep the floor, they throw the scraps or the bad stuff into a chopper, chops it all up, they put it back into, into the machine on top, add a little bit more black dye, and, and you can get reused stuff, but it has no strength. Once it's been through that heating and cooling process, its, uh, it's molecular structure has changed. It's got no strength. Uh, another thing that affects plastic is the, is the cycle time of the machine. The machine goes in and out making these parts. And if you do it too fast uh, or you cool it too slow, it gets heat and pressure and cooling, then you get what you see here, bubbles, and, and altogether it breaks. So here on, on our face cradles, we have you know, nice, nice arms. I mean, they're made strong. They're not going to... 
they're not going to break. You have metal arms to begin with. And um, yet, I'm not, I hate to name names, but it's right here. It says, this is made by Strong Light. Maybe they should call it Weak Light or Cheap Light. Pardon me, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. It was too easy. Uh, at Master, we know about plastic, and we know the proper way to mold stuff. And you know what? We wouldn't let this happen. It just doesn't happen to our stuff. Hi, I'm Michael Friedman, president of Master Massage Tables, and I want to tell you about this table, the Champion, the table you're looking at. Um, the Champion is meant to be a bestseller, and it is. Why? Well, first of all, the size is the most popular size today. It's 30 inches wide. The length is, if there is such a thing as regulation and massage, it's regulation. 72 inches long on the bed itself, plus when you put the face cradle on, you know, the end, it gives another foot. So it's really large enough for a seven foot person. The, uh, the upholstery is what they call CFC free. In, in other words, chemically, um, it won't degrade uh, with oil, when it gets near oils. It won't give off toxic fumes. It's, it's safe. It's as environmentally friendly as, as upholstery can be. Uh, more importantly, we put this very heavy backing on it. It's like a pair of Levi's laminated to the back of the upholstery because it'll last longer. It feels better, too. But mostly so it'll last longer and not, not wear out and look bad like so many other tables do that don't have this beautiful backing on it. We have uh, most tables in this price range have a, a hinge that looks like this, kind of, kind of inadequate. Our hinge is like this. It's not only strong and the steel is triple the strength of this stuff, but it's made so that the way, the way it works, and when you get the table you'll see or you can look at the sample, when the weight goes in, the, tape, the, 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 the hinge pinches in on itself and it makes the table even stronger. So you could uh, have a party and jump up and down on this thing and nothing bad is going to happen. The knobs on the table, here's a typical knob from, you know, some cheap guys. The, uh, the, the sleeve, the insert here, it's, it's like aluminum foil with some twists in it. It's very, very weak. I don't know if you can see it on camera, and or it doesn't look good here, but our, our brass sleeve is very, very thick and it's very, very deep, and the threads are very deep and it'll last forever. Why it looks kind of messy here is because we, first of all, we, over, we, we mold the, the sleeve right into the plastic part. We don't just stick it in. We mold it in, and then we mold over this very soft, kind of sexy feeling plastic, and then we put over a felt pad, which I tried to rip off so I could show you. There's a felt pad we put on so that when you tighten it against your legs, it doesn't scratch the legs of the table. I, I couldn't get it all off because it's, it's on there pretty good. Uh, this, believe it or not, is very important. The foot, even the foot on the table, the foot on this table is made of a plastic that's, that's soft enough so that it won't slide across your floor in case you're going to have it on a hard floor. It also won't leave marks. And it has two screws, which is something that's not to be taken for granted. Some tables have just one screw, and it means when you do drag the table across carpeting or anything or a floor, the foot tends to pop off, and then you're left with a, you know, an uneven table or a screw head sticking out to scratch everything up. This is really important, how you make the foot. Uh, lastly, I think, just to show you the, the integrity and the strength that this is second to last. That's it. Look at the arm shelf that comes with some tables. If you see it online or in a picture, you can't tell that this is what you're supposed to get, and this comes with this table. But this is what some people pass off as, a, as, a, uh, as an arm shelf. Let's see. Should I get, pardon me for, I don't want to get violent or anything, but let's cut this open right here. And this is unrehearsed. Let's see. Let's take a look at the thickness of this piece of wood. See it? It's pretty much like a soda cracker. It's going to break the first time you use it. Maybe the second time. Let's see what we got here. We have more foam. Oh my God. And we have more wood. Look at that. I mean, this is what you're supposed to get, but this is what, if you're not careful, you will get. The last thing I want to say is the most important thing. I know, I know where you're standing. I know where you're shopping. I know what, what customers of ours take this table. That's maybe the most important thing, because they're very particular. They put this through all kinds of quality tests besides our own. 
all kinds of environmental standards besides our own. And where you're standing, looking at this table, it's, it's for sure you're going to get a good deal on it and that the table's going to be made right. Other people may be giving you this. This is what we have through and through this table. Thank you very much. Lastly, really lastly, I thought I would show you what, what does it mean, 30 inch wide? And here, of course, is the champion table. It's the most popular selling size that there is. And here is some miraculously cheap table we bought online. You know, it's the one where I cut open the, uh, the, uh, the uh, armrest. But you can see how wide this is. It's uh, good, you know, for an extremely slender person. But this is good for, it's not good, it's great for an average American person. And that's, that's just it. This may be slender, and many people are slender, and I would like to be slender. But, man, I don't think I could ever get to be this slender, not since I was about eight years old. And, um, and, uh, and size is not everything, as I showed you. It's the built-in quality in everything that's part of this table. Every piece of wood, every screw, everything. It's just made right. It's made really well like your mother would make it for you. Some therapists are interested in buying a table with recce panels. Uh, you know, sometimes people want to sit down at the head of the table or somewhere, and they want some leg room under the table, and so they, they want a table with a leg panel that gives them some leg room as opposed to the, to the uh, normal, the conventional rectangular thing. The problem is, when you set up the table, this leg panel is under a tremendous amount of torque, and if it's a weak, if it's a weak piece of wood, because maybe you didn't get the legs exactly straight or something like that, it's going to break. And if it breaks, the table falls down, your client falls down, it's going to hit you on the foot, it's a mess, and somebody gets hurt. So the question is, what is the conscientious thing to do? What's the conscientious way to build the table with a recce panel? Take a look at this. You see the, the thin one? It represents almost every person making a recce panel, except for two who I won't name, okay? <laughs> Pardon me, except for three. The thick one in my hand is a master massage. This thing, this thing won't, you can't bend it. I mean, it's really thick. It's 11 ply versus, uh, this is five ply. Yeah, I can break it probably, you know, and certainly you get a, uh, a client on the table. And if the table's not set up perfectly, or if they move around in a certain way, it's going to break, and the table's going to fall down, and then you've got to buy a new table and stuff like that. The question is, do you want to buy a table with a properly made recce panel, double thickness, or do you want to buy, save a few dollars, and buy this kind of a recce panel? The few dollars you may spend extra to buy a master table made like this could save you some real money and, hard, and heartache in the long run. Hi, everybody. You're, you're shopping to make a decision that affects your career.